LSU Tigers. Folks, when I turn on the tape for Lyle Collins, I see a 320-pound masher who can really move for a guy his size. When you draft Lyle Collins, you get a senior with zero character concerns. However, get him on the football field, and it's a completely different story. This guy has an absolutely nasty disposition and is a war cat who would love the smash mouth style of football that Ron Rivera is looking to run. He also has tremendous lateral agility and can get to the edge in a hurry. And talk about heavy hands. Man, when he gets a hold of a lineman, there's a good chance that fillings are going to get knocked loose. And when he gets his hands on you on the inside of your pads especially, it is over. He's an amazing pass protector for a guy his size, and although it's not always pretty, he's significantly aided by his long wingspan. When he gets low, he is an absolute trash compactor and cannot be stopped. And that brings us to the cons. There are times when he plays high and his technique, well, it isn't ideal. And also, he can look heavy-footed at times in pass protectors, so I kind of worry a little bit about elite speed pass rushers on the next level. And finally, because of his aggressive style, he does lunge at times and end up on the ground a lot more than you would like. But uh, I feel that can be corrected with coaching from John Matsko. There are some analysts who aren't sure about his ability to play left tackle at the next level, which means opportunity to dollar store shoppers like Dave Gettleman and why I think he would make a tremendous addition to the Carolina Panthers on draft day.